We have had several questions over the last few days about updating promise dates in SPOT as some of you are shortening hours or perhaps closing a few days a week um, during the coronavirus issues and thought it might be a good idea to put a video out there to show everybody how this works. So to start off with, promise date schedules are part of your price table in SPOT. You're going to access them by going to set up program configuration and then company settings. Once your company settings have loaded, we're going to come to mark in settings and expand that. And then the first thing here will be your price tables. Now, each operation is a little different, but you may have multiple price tables being used across multiple stores. If that's the case, you will need to edit your promise dates in each of those. Um, my suggestion would be to create a new promise date schedule for this uh, temporary change as opposed to editing your current promise dates because then you don't have to go back and change them back again once your store hours go back to normal. So to do that, we're going to choose a price table. In this case, I'm going to choose the general price table. Um, then you'll see one of the settings here is promise dates. So if we expand that, you'll see the existing promise dates and to create a new one, click on the heading and then there's an add button down at the bottom. Give the new promise date schedule a name. So I'll call this one PD3 for promise dates three. And then we're gonna click edit up here at the top and that's where we'll see how this promise date schedule works. So the way to read this is across the left is what is it, what department? Across the top is when was it dropped off? And where the two meet is when the default promise date is. So as an example, dry cleaning dropped off on Tuesday. If it's before noon, that's the cutoff time here, will be promised Wednesday. And if it's afternoon, will be promised Thursday. You don't have to use the cutoff time. You could simply set the before and after as the same day. And then below is the promised time. So five o'clock is what most of our customers use, but if you are shortening hours and you need to change this to three o'clock, we could just plug in here and type zero three to make it 3 p.m. across the new promise date schedule. Um, to edit the actual promise dates here, you can choose multiple departments at once. If let's say, for example, items, dry cleaning and shirt laundry all have the same promise dates, I can drag and highlight all of those cells and then down here at the bottom is where we'll change your cutoff time, your day before cutoff promise date, and your day after cutoff promise date. So if I wanted everything dropped off on Monday for dry cleaning and shirt laundry to be promised for Wednesday, I would just choose Wednesday from the drop down menu as both my before and after cutoff. And you'll see that in turn will change these. So you'll go through each of your departments, each of the days, and make those settings as necessary. And when you're all done, click OK, and then we're going to save out of settings. Once that new promise date schedule has been saved, we then need to assign it to the stores that need to use it. And that will happen in the store settings. So we'll wait for that to save, and then we're going to come back to setup and program configuration. Store settings. Come click on mark in settings. And you'll see the second thing here is promise date assignments. If I click this edit button, um, an important thing to note here is this is the default price table for this store. So this store uses the general price table. So I'll want to come to the general price table in this setting and change it to my new promise date schedule, which I named PD3. Once you've done that, in each of your stores, go ahead and just click save and your default promise dates have been edited. Now, it is worth noting that is, this is the default. Um, it does not mean that your staff can't choose another promise date if necessary manually, but it will change your default cutoff times and promise dates.